Uh, hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, Chen Pengdong uh, from Dr. Yunlong Liu's lab from uh, Indiana University School of Medicine uh, CCBB Center. Uh, today my topic is about how to uh, manage the public domain genomic data for your uh, translation research. This video aims to help the beginner to gain knowledge about how to use public data. If you are advanced in bioinformatics, uh, you can skip this video. Before we get started, I hope you can have three questions in your mind. The first one is, where can I find the public data? Second is, do I use the public data correctly? The third one, uh, which kind of analysis can be done with public data? This slide includes three parts. Uh, the first one is explore the TCG data uh, using CBI portal or using the UCSC Xana Brother. The second one is query uh, study from GO. We will give you a demo show. The third one is uh, some practice of using uh, public data to generate some uh, figures for your paper. The first part, explore TCG data. In this part, you will see the GDC website, CBI portal, and the UCS and brother. Also, you will learn how to uh, extract the normal tissue and the primary tumor tissue by using the uh, TCG buckle ID. The TCG is directed by the NCI. They have sequenced more than uh, uh, 11,000 patients among 33 cancer types. For each patient, they provide the whole exome sequencing data, iron sequencing data, and uh, also um, some uh, protomics data. The most importantly, they provide very detailed clinical data and follow-up information. Uh, it will help you to identify the marker for the prognosis and the diagnosis. You will have a uh, first view of this three website, the TCG GDC, and the CBI portal, and the UCSC and the brother. Uh, this page is uh, how GDC look like. And this is the first page of the CBI portal. And this is TCG in the brother. I will uh, give you a demo show uh, this three website online. Okay, you can see the three website is already here. And uh, for the GDC, it, it looks like this. We click the project and we further TCG, TCG. And you can see that this is breast cancer, glioma, ovarian cancer, and lung cancer. We tap in one breast cancer. Uh, here show how many keys with the transcriptome data how many with the covid time variation, how many patients with methylation data and the clinical information. Uh, this is all available, uh, pub public available is level three data. If you want to use the BAM file, you have to apply for access in the dbgap. The second data set is CBI portal. Uh, you can see they uh, integrate a lot of data set here. We still use breast cancer. You can see for the invasive breast cancer, there are many study uh, with tag TCG. We chose uh, the the TCG file host legacy, and then we query by gene. We choose the MI expression, and we select uh, all the INSEC data. You can type in uh, a gene. You you interest the gene. And you will see, they will give you an overview of this gene in breast cancer, uh, how many patients with amplification, how many patients with mutation in this gene. And this is you, they will uh, generate a survival plot for you uh, in the TCG breast cancer uh, with over survival by using this death ray gene. Also, uh, which gene is co expressed with the death ray. And also pathway, this is the new function they just added recently. 
you can、uh, explore by yourself. The third website is Zen Brother.、Uh, you can click here, and、uh, you can see their TCG and also GDC is here. You can choose here. We choose the TCG, and you can see you can directly download、uh, with the link. You can see they provide all the information here: copy number, DM isolation. Uh, gene expression array and gene expression INSEQ. For you guys, you uh, will uh, choose the INSEQ data. Uh, uh, you can choose the Illumina HiSeq by typing. You will see、uh, what is this data、uh, unit log to normalize process. You can see this is the data look like after you download it. As you already know how to download the data from、uh, GDC, CBI Portal, or UCSC and Brother, you may want to start analysis TCG data by yourself. First thing is you want to see、uh, what is the sample ID mean.、Uh, here is the、uh, very brief introduction about、it. the first field of TCG ID is project is TCG. There is no nothing to explain. Uh, the second field is the TSS, is the tissue source size code. It's, that means where this tissue come from. The zero two is you can see here. Zero two is MD Anderson. Zero nine is UCSF, and you can see also see the GI that present our institute IPY. They provide a breast cancer tissue.、Uh, the third field is participant ID and the. The fourth field, there one here, is the sample type code. This is very important to help you identify which one is solid tumor and which one is、uh, normal tissue.、Uh, you you can extract patient with and、uh, in the in this position with one one as normal,、uh, with zero、uh, one as primary tumor. Okay, part two,、uh, query study from Geo. Uh, in this section,、uh, we will include how to search study from Geo, how to download and process Geo data, and some tips of processing、uh, Geo raw data, and we will give you a demo show play with shining Geo online tools. This is very good application. So here is the overview of the Geo and the organized structure of the website. The Geo is hosted by the NCBI,、uh, and it's a public functional genomics data hub. So they storage a lot of data. You can see to date they storage more than one hundred thousand studies and over three million samples. Among them, cancer study and their samples occupy a big part. For the structure part, for each sample, they assign a unique. GSM ID for each sample. Also, they have a platform ID and a series ID. The series ID is this is represent which study they, this sample belong, and the platform ID mean、uh, in which technology they measure the sample's expression data.、Uh, how to search a study from Geo?、Uh, here I pro provide three、uh, approach. The first one is you can search directly in the Geo official website in ACBI, and the second one is you can search in uh, Array Express. It's uh, it's another web browser provided by EBI. I recommend this one because this is more user friendly. I think the third approach you can search with the R package like the、uh, Geo Meta. I will give you a demo show the how to search in Geo and how to search with Array Express. How to download the geo、uh, processed data and the raw data?、Uh, because sometimes the, the author may already upload their processed data, so you can download it directly and to do further analysis.、Uh, you can see by query here the GSE ID. You will get this direct to this, this page. If we zoom in, you will see you can find the download link here. The series matrix file if they provide is here. And also, if you want want to download the raw data by and process by yourself, here it is the supply supplementary file. There are raw it sign ID with with raw, 
And even for the process data, I think for most time, the process data is uh, their ID is probe ID. It cannot be directly used. You should convert the probe ID into the gene sample and um, uh, in trace ID to help you do further analysis. After you download the processed data and the raw data, you may still need a few steps before you can directly use the data. Uh, generally, uh, the a pipeline of processing uh, macro data is uh, firstly you download the raw data and then you do the normalization steps and then you convert the probe ID into genome uh, gene symbol ID then you can use the data for the following uh, goal analysis and differential analysis and uh, in the second step the normalization method uh, if you look into this step clearly um, there are two mainly uh, approach be used, the RMA and MSC5 for the microarray normalization. And uh, typically, RMA is a good choice for the FMatrix microarray data. And uh, you can search Google for the more detail about what's the difference between these two approach. In the following demo show, I will uh, show you how to search the geostudy. Uh, by online tools, GU website, and Array Express. Also, uh, I will uh, tell you a, a, a more easy way to process the GU data with the online application Shining GU. Uh, we, we will give you a demo show how to do the uh, survival analysis and the differential analysis with this application. You can see it's very easy to use. Okay, you can see I already opened this three website, GEO uh, official website and uh, Array Express Shining GEO. Um, for the GEO, we uh, take first, we search the keyword colon cancer. Uh, there are uh, so many results for, for satisfy the colon cancer. We type in and you will see all the results satisfy the colon cancer at least here you can further choose uh, is belong to human or belong to the mouse and you customize your uh, search here you can see if you want to select your favorite study you should look into one by one if the required result is so many you cannot have time to look at all the study so I recommend the second approach search by Array Express. Array Express is hosted by the EBI and um, their uh, real life uh, is very friendly. You, we can type in the breast cancer. Okay, you can see there result is uh, very well organized. This is the uh, GSEID, their title, what is study talking about, uh, what is the uh, assay type is iSeq data, microarray data, and uh, even some chip seq data you can find. Um, what is organism belong? Is human or belong to mouse? And also how many samples in this study do they have the raw data? And uh, many times the S sample size is very important for you because you want to have enough statistic power to uh, get a significant p-value. You can see uh, uh, how many sample in this study. We choose this one. Uh, you, if this uh, GSEID -E is EGOD, that represent is a GEOS, GEO study. If you click in, you can find that in the bottom of there have a links to the GEO, their original uh, website link. You can find what the, they are talking about. Also, uh, there here we can download their processed data as I mentioned previously. Here you can download the raw data and do the process step. Uh, today I will uh, show you a more uh, easy way to process the uh, the GU data. This may be make your life easier. Uh, I introduced the GU, uh, the Shining GU. It's a Shining app built by the R language. Uh, um, 
Okay. You don't you don't need to know what is a shiny or what is the application they build. You only to need to type in the accession number. That means the GSE ID and do, uh, click the go, and then you will they will help you download the, all the data, and it will show you what is their clinic data look like, and you can do the differential analysis. Uh, for 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 each gene here is you can see it's a probe ID. That's why I see previously this uh, data cannot be used directly. You can for this application you can choose. You can use the gene sample. They will do the uh, sample conversion for you. You can see you can you can search the A AIB. They they already a gene sample. It's very helpful for you for you to do the next step. You can select their their uh, AGCC stage. You can see they already make a uh, box plot for you uh, as a different stage one, two, three, four. What's the gene expression of this uh, A2M gene expression look like? Do they have a significant difference among different stage group? You can also uh, download the data, download the graph data. And also, uh, you can see their uh, R code. You can also f uh, try to uh, change the color and uh, change the label. This is very helpful. And another function is the uh, survival analysis. You can see here, you can choose one gene. Here, we also choose this gene. I don't know what this gene means. Uh, and uh, you can see this is a general care and plot of real life data table. You should choose for the survival, you should choose uh, the, the following up data. Uh, then we choose the DSS and also the outcome. We choose the DSS event. Okay. For the, the one represent death, the zero, no death. Okay, it's already go. Okay, you can see they already provide a survival plot for you. Is this wonderful? You can change by yourself also. You can um, change the color by yourself. Save change, and you can see already change the color. You can, you can do make the make it more beautiful by yourself. Even you don't satisfy with this uh, uh, figure, you can export export uh, export all the raw data bios and then generate by some tools like a, a query pad or, or r uh, you can also see their uh, clinic uh, information table they uh, download for you also i i i remember they also have a provide uploaded data set that means if you uh, you are not satisfied with their clinic data set processed, you can upload your own <clears throat> by process by your hand and uh, reset the clinic data uh, to redraw this plot. Okay, the last part is uh, how the public data can help your paper. Uh, in this section, I will show how to put the biomark discovery with the public data and how to do pathway analysis and do the clinical social analysis, even the advanced is molecular feature signature findings. Biomark discovery, here you can see you can use the TCG data or GEO data to provide this figure whether your interest gene is different expressed in the tumor and the normal and if you have to find the paired data a uh, paired paired normal paired tumor you can make this beautiful uh, dot plot uh, dot line plot uh, in your paper and also uh, if if this study have some following up survival data you can make a, a survival plot uh, and also you can do a, a stage uh, stage uh, uh, expression plots to see whether your gene is uh, have a trend to go high with uh, as uh, the 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 disease uh, become worse. Also, uh, you can do the pathway analysis with the public data. 
if you have some interest gene, you can do the pathway analysis by compare the patient with high expression of your interest gene and the patient with low expression of your interest gene to see which pathway is uh, the, the, the top enriched with this uh, your interest gene and to, to provide some uh, preliminary result for uh, guide your research. And also you can do some correlation and a cl clinical association study. Uh, you can query which gene is uh, associated with your uh, interest gene, uh, what is the correlation uh, uh, level in the Pearson correlation and Spearman correlation, whether your interest gene is uh, some association with the clinical features such as female, male, and gender, and uh, uh, age, and other clinical features. Also, if you want to further, you can uh, f you can study a group of gene in a public data set to see whether this group of gene can form some different uh, distinct cluster, uh, which cluster have a per outcome in the in your disease, and uh, whether this cluster is associated with uh, the drug response or some immune uh, response. It will be very interesting and we, uh, it will provide confidence in your study. Here I also provide some tips. Uh, I hope you can uh, watch by yourself. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh,